Hi, welcome to the Gear Garage. My name is Zach Collier, and this is a show I'm doing about different gear that I like and don't like. And today I want to talk a little bit about throw bags. Uh, this here is a traditional throw bag. We've all seen this if we're a boater. A throw bag is your most important piece of safety gear. It's something everybody should have, whether you're a raft guide or a private boater, hard shell kayaker, even stand up paddle boarders should have, have throw bags. And there's different throw bags for each sport, but I have here what I want to talk about that I think is a good overall bag. This one's traditional, it has a strap over the top that you basically clip in to the boat and then it has, you unzip it and open it and the bag comes out like this. And uh, it's, a, it's just a bag, it's a really simple, not inspired design. And a few years ago I tried designing my own throw bag and I made some. This is a, it right here. And some things I wanted to do were put a, a buckle on the side. I think the buckle over the top gets in the way of stuffing it. And I think it also has a potential hand entrapment, right? When that, when that, the bag is like this hanging on a raft, you can get your hand stuck in there pretty easily. And the other thing too is if you're buckling onto something, let's say this is a D-ring for a raft, it packs on really nicely. It's kind of out of the way, it's not hanging down low, and then it's easy to pop off if you need it. So I'm a big fan of the side buckle and something that keeps this, the mouth open. I think one of the most difficult parts of a throw bag is stuffing it back in. So if you have a big wide open mouth, it's really easy to put the rope right back in the bag. So those are some things I think are important for bags. I think that the perfect rope is 75 feet long because that's about how far a good throw bag tosser can throw. 50 feet is too short to really get to anybody unless you're on a small creek um, or smaller rivers or doing something minor. I think 100 feet, nobody can really throw that. So 75 feet is a great length. And I like 3 8 inch polypro rope. 3 8 is a size you can actually grab and give a good pull. If it's thinner, it's hard to put a lot of force on it. A lot of people like thinner, stronger ropes. They're really strong, but you can't actually pull that hard because your fingers get tired of pulling. So I like 3 8 And I personally like polypro rope over Spectra because it floats better. It costs less, but it also floats. So. I'm a big fan of that as my perfect bag. And uh, this is the bag that somebody left in my truck last year and I've kind of been using it for the past year and I think it's, it's better than the one I designed and, and a good bag for anybody, whether you're a raft guide, a kayaker, supper, this is one that pretty, pretty much anybody can use. And I do it all those sports so I like to have just one good throw bag. And just again, here's that side buckle. You know, they did a good job of doing the side buckle. Uh, it has a nice wide opening. They use some metal closure that basically opens and closes really easy. And it's a nice big opening. So when you're packing the bag back in, it goes in really easy. So I really like the way this one packs. And uh, the other thing I like about this throw bag is it comes in a variety of ropes. So if you're like me and you want the 3 8 inch Poly Pro, you order that one. If you want a Spectra, you can order that one. Uh, some of the things I don't like about this bag is it comes with 70 feet of rope instead of 75, which is pretty close, but it's not quite 75. I'd rather see 75 feet. And I think that this it comes with this top strap, which again is a hand entrapment. Your hand could get stuck in here. Or this bottom loop, which a lot of throw bags are doing. This, this old NRS bag has this bottom loop as well. And I'm just not a fan of this, partially because the knot that's tied in here isn't a very efficient knot. So that's probably where the rope is gonna break because of that permanent knot in there. But also because this provides a potential hand entrapment, I can probably force my hand in there. Somebody with a smaller hand could, can definitely get theirs in. So, you know, there's a couple, couple downsides. This top strap, if you don't feel comfortable with it, you could just cut it off. I think they'd put that on there just as something to tie it onto. Um, but my favorite thing about this bag is its size. It's about the size of a water bottle. And you know, modern kayaks all have built-in water bottle holders. And so when I'm kayaking, it fits really easily right down here where there's a spot for a uh, water bottle or right here. And there's actually loops. So if you have your buckle, you put it in, throw the loops over the top, buckle it down, and it's really easy to get in and out of. Any bag that's bigger or wider, it's sort of hard to fit in that water bottle space where this fits just right. So those are my thoughts on this throw bag. Again, this is the Salamander Pop Top throw bag. I'll put a link to uh, where you can buy it in the description. 
And if you have anything to add, questions, comments, please comment below. All right, thanks for joining me.